In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to flash your solo mini lottery miner from Jingle Mining. As you can see, this is mine. It is currently plugged in and I'm getting about 54 to 55 mega hashes. But this little miner can go all the way up to 75 mega hashes. So in today's video, I'll be flashing this device and I'll be showing you guys the entire process. Also, if you are interested in purchasing one of these miners, check out the link in the description box below and now let's jump straight into it. So the first thing that you have to do is go over to the Jingle Mining website. The link will be in the description box below. And then you want to scroll all the way down until you get to this area. And you want to download both of these files, the Flash Download Tool 3.95 and the Jingle Miner 12.11. If you are watching this a month, six months from now, chances are the updated versions will be available to download. So once both of these files are downloaded, you will have them on your desktop. So you're simply going to extract both of them. Once you do so, the first file will look like this with the actual flashing tool. And then the other one will have the four files required to continue flashing your device. So all you wanna do is obviously run the flashing tool. So once you open the flash tool, this little box will show up. So we're simply going to scroll down all the way to this one right here, ESP32-S3. And then right here, the load mode, my device is connected to the USB port. So we are going to select USB and we are going to press OK. Then it will bring us to this page where we are going to select all four of these files and we are going to bring them inside of the flashing tool. So for the first tab, we're simply going to press the three little dots it will open up this folder. We are going to go to desktop. So on our desktop, we will have the Jingle Miner folder extracted, this one right here. So we're simply going to open it and we are going to select the first file, the bootloader.bin. Once we select that file, let me quickly make this slightly bigger so we can, uh, so I can show you the entire process. All right, once that is selected, you wanna go over to this tab and you wanna press zero, x zero 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 all right once that is selected you can press the check mark it will turn everything green and then you want to do the exact same thing to all the other files as well so we are going to select the second file right here we are going to press zero x eight zero 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 and we're going to press the check mark now we are going to move over to the third file which is the boot app one. So we are going to select it. Obviously right here, we're going to press zero X E, then some zeros as well. Press the check mark as well. Now for the final file, which is the firmware one. Then right here, we're going to press zero X one and then four zeros to follow. If you make a mistake and you press the wrong letter or something like I added HK, when you press the check mark, it will turn red, indicating it is wrong. So we are going to simply correct this and put the four zeros instead, and then it will turn green. You want everything to match up perfectly, that way no mistakes are made. Once all of these files are in their place, Right here for the SPI speed, we're going to keep it the same SPI mode. We are going to select the first one, the QIO, and then we should be ready to go. Then at the very bottom, it says COM. You wanna select the correct USB port that your device is plugged into. If you're not 100% sure, you can try either or. So in my case, I will be selecting this option right here just to give it a go to see if it actually works. And then we should be ready to go. And then all we have to do is make sure our device is connected and we are going to press start. And now it is syncing and it is flashing our device. This does take a minute or so, but after it is done, our device will be flashed and we will be receiving a higher mega hash on our device. This process is very, very simple guys, and it is definitely worth it just to increase your chances of actually getting that Bitcoin. So once you are done, the device will most likely reset and 
it should be good from there as you can see the light's still blinking so any moment right now the device will turn on and we should have a higher mega hash and if it's successful you are going to see a screen just like this one i'm trying to get it into focus and now hopefully we are going to receive the higher mega hash I'm trying to get it into focus as you can see we are getting 76 77 mega hashes so we have successfully flashed this jingle miner which is absolutely awesome hopefully we hit a block and we make a ton of money all right everybody that is how simple and easy it is to flash this miner the solo mini bitcoin lottery miner hopefully we hit a big we hit the lottery and we make a ton of bitcoin smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below if you want one of these miners link will be in the description box below as well see you in the next video Peace out.